So in today's video, we have an unboxing. Just two slabs from a recent Comic Link auction. But one of them is one of the most rare books that I've ever owned, and I can't wait to see what's in here. Let's find out next. So a few weeks ago, I was checking out a Comic Link auction, looking for Fantastic Fours, as usual, instead of helping with the laundry. And before the Fs, the Comic Link auctions go in alphabetical order, and before it got to the Fs, there was a particular title that I noticed, and I was amazed at how low the prices were, and so I had to grab a couple books, and that's what these are. Let's see what I won. Got the slabs out of the box. There's only two of them, so this will go quick. The first one, is an Eternals number one and a 9.8. Um, this book, as you know, the prices have come down. I was amazed at how far they've come down. The 2021 average for this book was $2,329. The 12 month average, the last 12 months, it had gone down to $1,587. The 90 day is $858. So this book has been in a free fall since the movie came out almost a year ago. And I was able to get this, my cost with fees and everything was $710, which I was amazed at. So, um, we'll talk, I got about the other book and then we'll talk about why I got these at these prices. This book is the most rare book that I've ever owned. It's an Eternals 1 9.6. 9.6, that's not more rare than a 9.8. Well, if you look closely, it is. 30 cent price variant. So the 30 cent price variants uh, were printed after the initial print run and so there's a lot fewer of these out on the census. In fact, this book in a 9.6, there are 22 9.6s on the CGC census. There are only four 9.8s. So this is one of 26 graded copies of a 30 cent price variant for Eternals 1. This is the rarest book that I own in my collection right now. This one, uh, there's not that many sales, obviously, but the 2021 average was $5,904. The last sale of this book was October 2021, right before the movie came out last year, for $7,250. I got this book on auction with fees and everything for $1,960, which is a lot of money. But uh, we'll talk about why I think this book might be, it might be a good time to jump back into the Eternals books. And it might not be, but we'll talk about that next. So why did I buy these books? Um, well, I don't think these books are going to get back to their pre-movie highs, but they've dropped over 300% in value in the last 18 months. And I think there is a chance they might get a bump back up for a couple reasons. Number one, um, there's still a chance that the Eternals as characters will end up in other MCU projects. Secondly, there's actually an outside chance they'll do a reboot and do uh, an Eternals, you know, number two, and that will bring the values back up. Think about the Dark World, Thor Dark World. That was a movie that was probably the least uh, well-received movie in phase one and two of the Marvel movies. And so people thought the Thor franchise was, de was dead. And then they brought in a new director, uh, Taika Waititi, and they did Thor Ragnarok, and he's just become front and center again. Um, you know, and so... You know, and then Loki, the Loki show has increased his popularity. Another one, uh, not in the Marvel Universe, but in the DC Universe, they did uh, a movie called Suicide Squad. And um, that first movie was horrible, but they completely rebooted that with a new director, uh, James Gunn. And again, and now they have spinoff series with Peacemaker and they'll be doing more. So again, you can resurrect these characters. This is a great Jack Kirby Bronze Age book. And I don't think, I think the floor is pretty high on these books just because it is a Kirby creation. And it always will be. But also, I think there is a chance I'll get a bump back. So it was great, especially to get a book as rare as this one. Um, let me know what you think, though, in the comments. Um, if you like these kind of videos, please subscribe and hit the like button. It'll help me know uh, what kind of videos to do. And if you don't like it or you, you think, um, you know, these books are heading further south, go ahead and let me know about that in the comments, too. I don't mind. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.